Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I made this little air dry kind of washing machine, front loading, little buttons at the top. It kind of looks like a little bit of a camera, but I really, really love it. Um, I put a little face on there. He's got a door that opens up. And then I also made these teeny tiny little socks to go inside. And then I also made this like little laundry capsule as well, which can go inside. I absolutely love it. Look how cute it is. Um, but yeah, you could use it as a shake charm. You could add a keychain to this or just have it a standing figurine like i have just to sit on my desk or whatever i just love it his face is so cute i love the little interactive element on it and yeah so if you like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and just keep on watching for the tutorial so to make this DIY, I actually used air dry clay. I've been really into air dry clay recently, but I have bought some more polymer clay. So I will be doing a polymer clay tutorial coming up soon, maybe even tomorrow. I'm thinking about it. Anyway, so this air dry one here, I made like about a week ago, so I had time to dry. But anyway, I took a small blob of it and it was really, really dry. So I had to end up adding loads of water because it kept cracking. It was awful. I don't know what's happened, um, but it's dried out. But this is the Fimo air dry clay. It has been okay um, up until now, but yeah, it has started drying out so had to revive it a bit with water but anyway i rolled it out into a ball and then flattened that down shaped it out into like this rectangle shape took a giant kind of like dotting tool or clay sculpting tool thing it just basically looks like a giant dotting tool with a ball like on the end and i just like made this indent in the front i then just moved out any cracks like major ones that i had um as much as possible and then i took a teeny 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 tiny little hinge and i popped one side of that down into the clay kind of base then i took a snake of clay as you can see and I roll that around just to make the washing machine door to smooth this out and everything like that I put it onto a piece of card took another kind of like water brush thing and just like smoothed it out as much as possible and I ended up putting on the hinge into that so that it lined up with the um like washing machine at base as you can see there um I took that out to dry so that it all dried separately and then I had just attached it just by slotting it in and adding a little bit of glue I didn't film that for some reason or I did and I've lost the footage but that's basically what I did I just put the little hinge inside of the door piece then popped it inside of the other bit once it was dry i also made some little socks as well really really simple with the air dry clay just literally folded them out with my hands and i also made a little square to act as a laundry detergent tablet so anyway yeah like i said i left this to dry for around about three days i think it was like i went off doing other crafts and stuff i completely forgot about it and that's why it's taken me a few more days to bring it back um but anyway so yeah i painted these all with acrylic paint so i started off with a blue inside of the washing machine and then painted it in pastel yellow added some pink bits on and i also painted the little individual pieces as well so the laundry detergent tablet like so i put a little swirl on it because i feel like all of them have swirls on i did cut a piece of um like clear plastic just from some old packaging that i had just some bakery packaging and to use on the washing machine door but i painted the washing machine door first and made sure that was all dry then i added some super glue on the inside and just pressed that into it so it was all secure painting it first obviously then i wasn't left with like ugly clay underneath the plastic so yeah definitely paint yours first with the little socks i painted them white and added some blue on the tips of the toes the heel part and the top liner part because i thought that, that would look cute took me forever to kind of like use my tweezers to actually like hold these and actually that worked out the best i did go in and paint a little face on the washing machine if you see a little hair on my nail there isn't that really annoying like i realized i had acrylic paint on my nail and then like polyfill obviously was on my desk for making paper squishies and then got stuck to it and as i was watching this back and editing i was like that is so annoying um you probably didn't notice it so i pointed it out but it annoyed me anyway for the laundry detergent tablet to make that more laundry detergent tab esque i took some um kind of like solid builder nail gel stuff in the clear and then i just like shaped that around it pushed it around cut it out into a square shape rounded it off and put it underneath my uv lamp just to create like a clear like liquid like coating then i basically coated everything in uv resin just to secure all of that paint in and make sure it didn't go anywhere i also did the same thing to the laundry detergent tablet as well just to use an over the face plastic and i just cut in uv resin let it cure underneath my uv nail lamp and um the whole piece was done <laughs> so here's the little washing machine as you can see um inside we've obviously got the little capsule which is here just like the little washing up like capsule thingy i don't know what you call them like the little detergent capsules maybe you know like those like little parcel and stuff then we've obviously got the socks just got one of each side there 
just like so teeny teeny tiny these are so cute i absolutely adore those and yeah here's the washing machine here is the door look open and close with that little hinge very cute i've put the uv resin over the face as well so that's all secured on there won't be going anywhere we're all shiny all the way around i did lose a little bit of paint on there um, but we won't talk about that and then i've painted on these little buttons at the top as well just for some extra detail definitely think it looks a bit like a camera but i love it i think i know it's meant to be a washing machine <laughs> so yeah very happy with that i think a little like a bottle of laundry kind of detergent on top or like a little pack for these would be cute and definitely give the laundry a vibe but yeah there it is hopefully you have enjoyed today's video thank you so much for tuning in if you have any requests going forward for any type of cute craft then definitely let me know thank you so much for tuning in today and i'll see you very soon for another video bye